Are you posting too much or are you posting too little? Ah, I don't know. What do we do? That's what we're going to be talking about today on this episode of The Good Agent. Welcome, I'm your host, Ed Troxel, if we've never met before. What are you doing? Drop me a comment. Say hello. Hit me up on social or head over to edtroxel.com and send me a video message. That's right. There's a little option in the lower right-hand corner where you can go ahead and message me. Now, today's episode is all about are you posting too much or too little here on social media? And this question has come up a lot recently. So let's dive into it and talk about it. First, let me just mention, if you haven't joined the email list, what are you doing? You should be on the email list. It's free. You get business and marketing tips every week, Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific time in your inbox. And also when you join, you get to know a little bit more about me and a few social media tips and tricks that you can add to your toolbox. Go ahead and do that over on my website. You can also pop a message down below and I will send you the direct link if you need it. All right, now for this topic. How many times have you thought to yourself, I'm posting too much? Or you've thought, am I posting enough? I feel like I'm not posting enough. Maybe I should create more. I don't want to create more. And then you just get caught in this loop, right? So that's what we're going to talk about is how do we know if we're posting too much or too little? And the first automatic response is going to be, it depends. I know, I know it's that word or those words that we don't want to hear for an answer, but it really does. It depends on you, your business and your audience, which is why it's important for you to post consistently and pay attention to what your audience is telling you. Pay attention to any data that you can get from Instagram or Facebook or any tools that you're using like a social media scheduler to help you identify areas of opportunities and being able to know when you should be posting and maybe how often you should be posting. And so if you were to ask me just straight up, Ed, what is too much or too little? I would first say it depends, but then I would also go to, but then I would also default to what I have found for myself and my audience to be helpful is two times a day. Now you could do less. So once a day, which is totally fine. You could do more three plus times a day. I will say that for me, what I have found is that when I post three times a day, just for myself, not even my audience, but just for myself, it feels like a lot. I'm almost overwhelmed with posting, not just creating the content. Like that's a whole nother ball game, right? Like you, you, the content creator, having to create three plus posts a day, that's a lot on top of doing work. No, even if you're bulk editing and scheduling these posts out, it's still a lot of work no matter what. So as the content creator, having to create more than two posts a day can be really challenging and very overwhelming. Now, as the audience who's checking out our posts, seeing more than two or three posts a day can also be overwhelming because it depends on how many people they actually follow. And it also depends on how often they're seen as pop up in their feed. And it's just a lot. So when you're thinking about it, first see how it feels for you. So I know for me that when I do three posts a day, that doesn't feel good. It feels too much. So I really try to keep the majority of my uh, posts down to two a day, typically morning and afternoon. Um, but you know, I spread it out and there's different times that I test as well, but that's typically what I'm doing is, is one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Uh, I find that to be pretty good for my audience because here's the other thing. It's not just how many times we post on social media, but it's also how the algorithms push out our posts. So just because I post today on Monday, let's just say at two o'clock, doesn't mean that my audience is going to see it on Monday at two or 2.30 or three or five or six. I have seen that a lot of times it picks up traction on day two and three. So Tuesday and Wednesday, right? So then they're not only seeing that post, but then they might see a combination of other posts throughout the week that I have shared as well. So for me, 
I feel comfortable with two posts a day. And yes, I am now in the habit of scheduling out posts, which is also why I like to keep it to two scheduled posts because when I'm inspired and when I want to share something, I will go and share it. And I don't want to have to feel like, oh, I have to wait. I have to go put that on the calendar. I have to schedule that to go out at a certain day and time because I already posted two today. No, I want to have that flexibility. So that's why I try to keep mine at two a day scheduled wise, because it allows me to have flexibility to have that third post in the moment when I want to throughout the day. So then it doesn't feel too overwhelming. But if I'm scheduling out three posts per day, that feels like a lot. And then on top of that, I'd have another one or two inspiration hits that would be four and five that day. That's a lot. Not just for me, the creator, but for my audience. So really think about you, your business, and your audience and see what's right for you. We already know there's a bare minimum, right? There's a bare minimum of one post. So now we have to move to the next thing. How often? Is it once a week, once a day, once a month? Like, what is that? And we'll just check that box right now. It's going to be at least once a week. If you can do once a day, awesome. But once a week at minimum. So you got one post at least once a week. And now you start to crank out your content. And once you get in this habit, let me tell you, it really does come together. And everything you see and hear and read and watch is going to become content that you can share out to your audience with your own take, your own insight around it and your own spin. That's also why I love video and why you're going to love video if you aren't already, because it allows you to showcase who you are, what you do and what your expertise is. And you can also have other things pop up on the video in terms of articles or bring on uh, a guest expert or whatever it may be, it allows you to really bring your post to life. And that's why I want to encourage you to always be thinking about video and how you can take a regular post that you've already created, that you've already scheduled, that you've already shared on Instagram, whether it's a carousel or just a graphic and how you can bring that to life with a video. We're all about working smarter, not harder. And I know because I see it all the time, especially on Instagram from agents, they will post these cool little graphics that they probably got from some membership that they're part of that they didn't actually even create, which there's no hard feelings about that, whatever. Uh, But they, they bought this membership that creates the graphics for them. The graphics then they just populate and put out on their feeds, which is fine, but why not take it to the next level? So if you have your top five things to prepare your home for sale, there's the graphic that you got from somebody else that made it for you with all the same standard stuff that a bunch of other agents have. So why not take that post? Let's say it goes out on Monday and create a video post that goes out on Wednesday with the same information. Now we get to see you, we get to hear you, and we get to understand that you are the go-to expert. And then if we saw that graphic, because we maybe didn't, but if we did, then it's repetition. And then it's, oh yeah, I remember. I feel like I've heard this before. He, He knows what he's talking about. She knows what she's talking about. You see what we're doing? We're trying to work smarter, not harder. We're repurposing our content. We're bringing it to life in the video format, which is why I created this podcast, not just to be audio. In fact, I had somebody, when I told them I rebranded the podcast to be the good agent, they asked me, so why are you doing a podcast if you're a video coach? It's like, oh, I'm glad you asked. It's actually a video podcast. And those are on the rise. In fact, YouTube is one of the popular channels for podcasting. And Spotify recently released their option to have video podcasts. And you better believe that they're going to be putting even more money behind that to help people 
have the video aspects. And if your account allows you to, you should be jumping on that because guess what? They're going to want to push your content out to more people because it's a new feature that they're trying to get others on, which is why it's important for you to get comfortable with video. So think about it. If you have a podcast or you want a podcast, it's not just audio. Add the video portion to it. That way you can have the audio wherever you want to go with it. And then you have the video for other things like YouTube or Instagram Reels or TikTok. There's there's places that you can cut out those little short clips and share them out there. So think about video first. And everything that you've done and that you're going to continue to do that's not video, think about how you can bring that to life on video. Of course, if you have questions or you need any help, always feel free to reach out to me. I'm here. I'm your video coach. Actually, I should say I'm your soon to be video coach. And I would love to help support you and your business and get you to show up more consistently, deliver your greatness and engage with those around you who are your qualified leads, who are the people that want to work with you and can't wait to work with you. They just need to see you. They need to hear from you and they need you to do it on a consistent basis. So to answer that question one last time, are you posting too much or too little? It depends. I would love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to message me anytime on social or over on my website, edtroxel.com. And until next time, have an amazing rest of your week. Take care.